Hey everyone, Mr. MC here. This is Lapgat from Red Bull Ring with the Honda Super Formula. Let's get this started. Bring yourself to the left and brake just as you pass the 100 meter mark. You'll be braking hard for a short moment and quickly easing off of the brakes as you turn in. You want to either go around or go over this yellow curve where the apex is at. Do not hit it with the wheel, otherwise you will turn into an airplane and fly off the track. And try not to get the right wheels to go over the yellow curves as that will trigger an off-track penalty. You just want to make sure that you're not at full throttle until you know that the car is stabilized. So going on to the next turn, break just before you reach the 100 meter mark. You'll be braking hard for a while. Ease off of the brakes so the car can start to rotate and feather in the throttle. Try not to be too aggressive with the throttle, otherwise you will start to get some wheel spin. Brake just as you pass the 100 meter mark. Do not brake on the curbs. Brake hard for a short while. Gently ease off of the brakes and gently start to apply the throttle. You want the car to be nice and stable so you don't risk spinning out. Then brake just as you pass the 50 meter mark. You'll be braking hard for a short moment and quickly easing off of the brakes. Just bring yourself to the inside of the turn and slowly start to accelerate. And as the track piece on the right is just about to end, that is when you start to turn in and use some of your braking power. This is just like the last turn where you want to bring yourself to the inside of the turn and slowly start to accelerate. Now bring yourself to the left, turn in at the 50 meter mark and start to brake just after you pass the 50 meter mark. You'll be using some of your braking power through this turn. You just want to set yourself up for this final turn in which you will brake before the red and white area on the left ends. Quick burst of braking through here, just let the car rotate and then fully accelerate. That is pretty much it for the lap guide. Let's go ahead and talk about the strategies. This race does have a great start, so make sure you set the traction control to one and shortly after the race starts or even just after you finish the first turn, you can then bring the traction control down to zero or whatever value you normally have it set to. The overtake feature is also active in this race, so make sure you have it binded to a button on your controller or on your wheel. What the overtake button does is it gives your engine even more power so you accelerate even faster. And you'll know you're using it or you'll know someone else is using it when the light on the back of the super formula is starting to blink. So in a moment I'm about to use it again because I'm trying to get away from all the chaos and I'm about to start using it now. So the car will accelerate even faster and I'll be able to get to my top speed even faster than if I don't have it active. Just be aware that the overtake feature does have a limit so don't use it too much at the start of the race otherwise when you need it you won't have it and you'll end up going a bit slower. The overtake feature is pretty useful when you're exiting out of slow corners, exiting out of the pit stop, or when you're trying to overtake someone and you have a good run on them. But anyways, going on to the strategies, this is a pretty straightforward one stop. You can start on the racing medium tires and eventually switch on over to the racing hard tires. Or if you are starting in the back, you can start on the racing hard tires do a few laps with them and then switch on over to the racing medium tires for the rest of the race. Both racing medium and hard tires are required for this race so make sure you have both of them on otherwise you will get a one minute penalty that gets applied at the end of the race. How long you want to be on the racing medium tires is going to depend on your situation. So let's say you're constantly under clean air so there's no one in front of you for the entire duration of your stint you can possibly make the racing medium tires last up to 11 laps before the times from the racing medium tires start to blend in with the times from the racing hard tires. But if you are harsh with the tires, you don't take good care of them, or you're constantly stuck under the dirty air, then you will have to pit a little earlier. The earliest you want to pit for the racing medium tires is on lap 7, or at the end of lap 7. So this will leave you with doing 7 to 11 laps on the racing medium tires and 4 to 8 laps on the racing hard tires. 
feel is not an issue at all, even with the overtake feature being used to its max, so don't worry about that. And if you are within three quarters of a second behind someone, you just want to be a bit more careful about how you handle the car. And that is because you are under their dirty air. So it basically disrupts the clean air that you could be getting, but they're in the way of course. So your car is not getting all the downforce it needs to be going through some of these turns at higher rates of speed. So your car is more prone to understeering and increasing its tire wear. And do keep in mind that the dirty air will actually help you when you go through the straights as the lack of downforce will help your car accelerate even faster. Mix that in with the overtake feature and you can get an easy overtake. So we're going to go on over to the pit stop sequence. You end up losing a little under 9 seconds for the pit loss time. And it's not going to be a big deal because everyone is forced to do a one stop. And once again right here as you exit the pit stop, this is a pretty good place to use the overtake feature in case you want to get yourself up to speed right away. But that's pretty much it for this guide and once again this is a grid start so make sure you have the traction control on and use the racing hard and medium tires as both tire compounds are required for this race. But that's all from me, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. So this is MSMCA. Wishing you a good race and I'll see you in the next video.